Hey! Hello, I'm Matthew here at McLaren Newport Beach. If you've ever spent time at a Cars and Coffee show or in the comments section of an automotive social media account, you've probably heard some form of the question, are those vents real? These are probably fake vents. Now, as you might expect from a company that builds their road cars in the same factory as their F1 cars, McLarens have a lot of vents, and not only are they real, they're spectacular. Now to see where all that air is going is a little tricky, but I've got my aerothermal specialist, Raul, to help out with a little demonstration. Hey, hey, Raul, come on, man. We talked about this. Inside air, inside air. Thank you, Raul. Now you join us here at the back of this Artura Spider, where you can see many different vents taking air many different places. Much like I cannot pick a favorite child, it's hard for me to pick a favorite vent, but fortunately, Raul has a favorite. His is actually a vent you probably didn't even realize was there. It's hidden inside this buttress. And what that is doing is it's taking cool air directing it through the car and forming the rear wall of the air chimney. The chimney's taking hot air out of the engine and ejecting it upwards. What we don't want is for that hot air to spill over the rear deck lid of the car. Wouldn't be good for your aero, also wouldn't be good for your paint. So to contain that air, we have a wall of cool air at the front, and then actually another vent, the inside of this split vent over the rear wheel, is gonna form the rear wall of that chimney. So we have cool air at the front, cool air at the back, keeping it contained and sending it straight upwards. So the next time you see an Artura at your local Cars and Coffee, I wouldn't recommend blowing in a stranger's buttress, but at least after this video, you'll know where all that air is being sent.